Hello and welcome to This Is The Stish, your brand new daily news show. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at the news surrounding FA chairman, or former chairman, Greg Clark. That's right, people. Greg Clark has been a very naughty boy. Greg Clark, for those who don't know around the world, is the chairman of the FA, the Football Association. The Football Association is the governing body of association football in England and was founded in 1863. It's the oldest football association in the world. All of England's professional football teams are members of the Football Association, including the top clubs in the Premier League. It is a member of UEFA and FIFA and makes the rules uh, in regard to issues such as diversity, for example. So what's good old Greg gone and done? Well, Greg has found himself in hot water after making a serious off-coloured remark. Off-coloured? Can I say that? Not sure. Okay, so what's Greg's top four comments? Here we are then. So, the first and worst. He's going to refer to BAME footballers. BAME as in black, African, mixed race, ethnicity football players as coloured people. That's right, coloured people. He said a gay football's decision on whether to come out was a live choice. A live choice, whether to come out or not, that's that's uh, that's not cool. Young female players do not like having the ball at hard on them. I don't like having the ball at hard on me, but yeah, young female players don't either. And he's referred to different career interests led South Asian people to choose careers in IT over sport. I think he was basically saying he sees loads more Asian people in the IT room than he does in the canteen. Was that the one? Or on the football pitch? But yeah, terrible, terrible. Okay, so where were these majority, these major diversity gaffes offered? Where, where did he say this? Was he down the pub with his mates? Obviously, you can't do that now because he's on lockdown. So was he in the park with some cans? Or was he on a WhatsApp group maybe? Nope, he was in front of a bunch of MPs. Yeah, he was in front of the government, in front of a parliamentary panel for the Department for Culture, Media and Sport. That's right, a group of MPs. The guy obviously wanted to lose his job, right? I mean, he may as well have sat down wearing a clan suit now. Or should have just had a massive line of cocaine in front of him. Follow up in less, Bobby? No? Uh, Martin Samuel from the Mail. I love the Mail. Greg Clark may as well have worn a red nose and twirling bow tie and entered to Lowell and Hardy's music for his parliamentary hearing. <laughs> it's a bit more politically correct than mine. From the Mail as well. And the Sun newspaper referred to him as Jurassic Clark. Jurassic Clark is a massive clock in a world full of coloured dinosaurs. Okay, now I added the song, or lack of, maybe. Clark was obviously brought to task straight away for his comments and asked to apologise for his language by one of the MPs. He did, and pretty much instantly resigned afterwards. A statement from him has said, 2020 has been a challenging year, and I've been actively considering standing down for some time. You're not kidding. To make way for a new chair. Now our CEO transition is complete, and excellent executive leadership under Mayor Mark Bollington is... Bullingham, whatever, is established. My uns- unacceptable words in front of Parliament were a disservice to our game and to those who watch, play, referee, and administrate. This has crystallised my resolve to move on. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cliss- crystal clear. But yeah, regardless, the comments have drew widespread criticism and left a lot of people wondering why the hell was this guy in charge of English football? at all and also why is he leading the new massive campaign on diversity when obviously he's not the best man for the job um i mean for me he was born in 1957 he's older than he would have been coming age of the early 1970s you know that was a jurassic time perhaps even pre-jurassic what was that one called i mean he weighed in australia as well that counter helped and america that one trout the either and yeah it is 2020 that's he has got one good point it is 2020 and 2020 has just been an absolute nightmare for everyone and he's on teams as well so i imagine that's that's a nightmare and he probably got a bit comfortable then he was probably i don't know he might have just watched an episode of you know 
who knows Ralph Garnett uh, you know just spoke to his dad or something who knows what's happened I don't think he's racist I don't think he's sexist he's might be sexist just as racist and sexist as everybody you know on WhatsApp um, and stupid that's the main thing he's obviously very stupid or maybe and this is just a maybe his wife won't let him quit his job so he had to take matters into his own hand just to ensure his departure if that is indeed the case i think we should applaud his restraints and appreciate the mild manner in which he has burnt his house down come on he could have said much worse our generations need to be more patient but one thing is for sure it was not the man for the job and something tells me the next chairman of the fa will not be an old white bloke well is to the future people that's been a news flash from stitch radio the one coming soon subscribe like do all that shit ah.